You are listening to IPR, Imperial Public Radio, as we proudly present an excerpt from William Shakespeare's The Jedi Doth Return by Ian Dozier. This program was made possible by the generous support from Battalion Commander Matthew Nicholson and listeners like you. We join Lord Vader in Scene 1, Act 1, as he boards the Death Star. Cease to persuade, my groveling Jergerard. Long-winded moths have ever sniveling wits. Tis plain to me thy progress falls behind and lacks the needed motivation. Thus I have arrived to set thy schedule right. Aye, we are honored by your presence, Lord. To have you here is an unexpected joy. Thou mayest dispense with every pleasantry. Thy fawning words no interest hold for me. So cease thy prating over my arrival, and tell me how thou shalt correct thy faults. I tell thee truly, Lord, my men do work as quickly as each one is capable. No more is possible for them to do. Mayhap I shall find new creative ways to motivate them. Lord, I'll warrant that the station shall be operational within the date and time that have been set. Upon my honor, I make such a claim. The Emperor, however, doth not share thine optimistic attitude thereon. But, Lord, he doth expect the impossible. I need more bodies to fulfill this task. If I had but a hundred able souls to work alongside those already here, it would be far simpler to complete the work and make this Death Star ready when tis due. Thou wilt have opportunity to ask the Emperor for these further workers for he shall arrive upon the Death Star soon. Oh no, that fills my heart with utter dread. The Emperor himself shall come here? Aye. Displeased is he with thy thorough lack of progress on this station incomplete. Out of it shall be doubled instantly. I do hope so, Commander, for thy sake. The Emperor is known or being less forgiving than myself. Pray, is that clear? It is, Lord Vader, perfectly. Thy words I hear and shall obey. With gratitude I praise thee for thine honesty herein. The scene is set for this, the final act. I shall destroy the rebels one and all, and turn young Luke, my son, unto the dark. It is the role I play, my destiny. The grand performance for which I am made. Come, author of the dark side of the force, make me the servant of thy will and write the tale wherein my son and I are sealed as one. Come take my every doubt from me and fashion from my heart of flesh and wires a perfect actor, callous, cold and harsh. Let this, the second Death Star, be the stage, and all the galaxy be setting to the greatest moment of my narrative, the scene in which the Emperor's fight is won, whilst I decide the fate of mine own son.